put this together. Am I live? Tr try now. <laughs> so TikTok, TikTok, stop this. We hit refresh, babe. TikTok, we back live. All right. <laughs> I'm, I, my wife knocked on the wall and said, TikTok knocked you off. We're back. So this this is how I know we're on to something. We we are, and I'm being very careful because I I knew that was gonna happen because uh, the last thing that the enemy wants is for people to be awakened. We're talking about the Holy Spirit TikTok. We're, we're talking about our beliefs, and you don't have to believe our beliefs. I'm not putting anybody down. I'm not discriminating against anybody. I'm just asking the Christians. This is for the Christian audience. Ask God to give you a spirit of discernment. Ask the Lord to show you what content is his, what content isn't. There's so much content out there. Would the Holy Spirit be a part of that kind of content? Like, Just start asking yourself this question. Holy Spirit, what, what are you a part of? 1 Peter chapter 2. Here's the content that God is a part of. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and strangers down here to abstain from fleshly lust, which wage war against your soul. Keep your behavior, your actions, the things you do. Excellent behavior among Gentiles so that in the thing in which they slander you as an evildoer, that, you're, that they may because of your good deeds as they observe them and that they see that you are glorifying God. James chapter three, does a fountain send out from the same opening, both fresh water and bitter water? It can't. Can a fig tree produce olives or a vine produce figs? First Peter 1 15. But like the Holy One who called you to be holy yourselves in all behavior, you should be holy as I'm holy. 1 Thessalonians 5.22, abstain from all evil, every form, every form of evil. Romans 12.1 and 2, I beseech you therefore, brothers by the, and sisters, by the mercy of God, that you give your lives as a living sacrifice, holy acceptable unto God, which is just your reasonable service. And don't be conformed to the entertainment of this world, to the content of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you can prove what is the good, acceptable, perfect will of God. The deception of the enemy, and I'm done here. We're getting ready to go into Lord's Supper. The deception of the trick of the enemy is to get you to enjoy some of those things that you would never do. I would never do these things. But that old man in me kind of enjoys seeing it on screen or hearing it in music or reading it in a book. Your atmosphere is being bombarded by the things that are not of God. We have to be vigilant. As the scripture says, we have to watch. We have to pray. We have to Ask the Lord. And this is where discernment starts. Discernment starts with asking God, is this you? Lord, is this clearly you? Lord, if I'm not supposed to watch this, like stop me five minutes into the movie, 10 minutes into the movie. Me and my wife have a five minute rule. We watch movies, we watch TV shows. We, we, we like to be entertained. We like to enjoy ourselves. But we'll ask ourselves, like, like in the movie, we're having our own commentary. I'm having like, oh my gosh, I can't even believe what just happened. Ugh. Right? Your spirit should connect with God's spirit. He's teaching us. He's teaching us. Not condemning us. There's no condemnation to Christians. I'll close with this on entertainment. As Christians, we're called to discern what aligns with God's truth. He's clearly given us the truth. 
and stay away from things that can contradict the truth. I'm not judging you. I haven't brought up any shows. I haven't mentioned any names. I haven't mentioned any TV or anything. I've simply asked you to have a prayerful reflection, seeking God's guidance on your spirit, man, on your atmosphere. Be careful what you allow to enter your containment. We are instructed to test all things. So just test it. Lord, is this show of you? Is it excellent? Is it good? Is it holy? Or is it those other things we just read about? What are the red flags, Lord? Show me. You hear about a certain person's life outside of that show, outside of the song? And, and I, I'll even go so far to say this in my discernment, what I've discerned. It's not always just acting. It's not always just a song that they came up with. Some of this stuff comes from a dark place, a deep place. Like that's them projecting some things on the inside. And I don't I don't want that area in my home. I don't want that area in my temple. If anything, immerse yourself with the scripture. Let that entertain you. Have the insight in the character of God, not the character of somebody on television. Would Peter watch it? Would Paul watch it with you? Would you send Jesus that post? Father, speak to us. You love us. Like, this is a loving message. I just want to be careful. I want to serve you with all my heart. In Jesus' name. I pray that that helped you. Next week, we'll go into different areas. Uh, we'll talk about marriage, discernment in marriage. Uh, that may take up the full hour. How, how to have a discerning ear with your spouse, for those that are in relationships, boyfriend, girlfriend, any relationship, sons, daughters, husbands, wives. We've talked about parenting already, but we're going to talk about kind of like a loving relationship and what discernment looks like according to the scripture. Amen. All right. Let me make sure we still got everybody. Again, I apologize. TikTok, my wife knocked on the wall and said, you got disconnected. I'm not sure why. When I looked at the back of the screen and said you you're in live your life ended due to inactivity, but it's never ended due to inactivity. So that let me know that something is up is up. But we're still here. Full message will be on Facebook and TikTok so you can watch the entirety. You didn't miss anything. The moment she knocked and said you're not live anymore, uh, I paused, made sure I went back live. But it's not an electricity issue. I'm fully connected tonight. So praise God. All right, let's let's pause and or go into the Lord's Supper. I know many of you, not all of you, but many of you, uh, this is your church home. This is where you connect. This is where you learn. We're grateful for the opportunity. For some of you, you went to church today to a physical church with walls and you had communion. It's okay to do communion twice. The purpose of communion or the purpose of pausing as often as you do it in Christendom, we do it the first Sunday. But the Bible says you can really do it anytime you want. The purpose is that we we acknowledge the sacrifice that Christ made. He took on all of our sin debt upon himself and became a sacrifice so that we could have a relationship with his dad, with the father. The, we wouldn't have a relationship with the father except it had not been for Christ giving his life, shedding his blood. And then raising again. And so he said, as often as you can, just remember what I did. Remember the sacrifice I made. Don't take it for granted. Don't go throughout your busy life and day not recognizing that I'm Savior, I'm Lord. He said, and this is how you do it. Take some bread. They had unleavened bread. It may have actually been leavened bread. It's the, it's, it's the, the principle behind it. He said, Take some bread. It represents my body that was slain, my body that was beat, my body that was tortured, my body that bled and, and was pierced. It's, when you come together, think about how much this costs. So if you can, the bread.
Thank you, Lord. This is a celebration, actually. This is some some churches kind of have a somber Lord's Supper. This is an amazing opportunity. I am like when we have parties. When you go to somebody's house or someone graduated or somebody did something really good and like you break bread. Let's have dinner. That's what they had. They actually had dinner. It wasn't just bread and juice. They had dinner. And so we've religiousized this and, and turned this into something that it wasn't in the Bible. That's a whole nother conversation for another day. But my heart is grateful. My heart is joyful. I'm so glad. And then he said, drink. This is white grape juice. Drink my blood. It, it's a representation of the blood that I shed. Without, the, without shed blood, there can be no remission of sin. That's the system he set up. He was God. He created it. We don't have to understand it. We have to accept it. That the system he set up was that whenever there was sin, blood had to be shed. So in this moment, Lord, as we're coming, all of our sins, all of our mess ups, everything we've done to hurt you, we, we come asking for forgiveness. We come thanking you for forgiveness and for shedding your blood for us and then raising again. Yeah, Christians don't celebrate the resurrection of Jesus just on Easter. We don't celebrate the birth of Christ just on Christmas. We are constantly grateful for the blessing of him being in our life. So if we can, Lord, thank you for shedding. I do this in remembrance of what you've done. Oh, my spirit is so full right now. Thank you. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you for participating and, and partaking in the Lord's Supper with us tonight. Um, if you're going to watch this later, um, again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the first Sunday. Uh, well, I want to thank everybody for watching tonight, uh, being a part of our family. You are family. If you're watching this, it wasn't an accident. It wasn't coincidence. I pray that the Lord continues to bless you and show you how to operate on your job. And even in the entertainment, the TV shows and the movies that you watch, just watch them with a spiritual eye and ask the Lord to cover you, protect you, watch over you from all the evil that's tr trying to bombard us. And so I thank the Lord for the meat, for the growth in Christ Jesus. Uh, Lord, we thank you tonight as we close for your amazing grace. We thank you for your holiness and your righteousness. We thank you for uh, how you watched over us throughout the week and how you showed us again in your word, your character. Lord, we just want to be like you. I want you to say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Not because of the things I've done, but because my heart truly wants to please you. May we be the hands and feet of you. May we be the example, the salt, the light for other people. May we continue to grow in you. It's in Christ's name, Yahshua. We pray to the Most High God, Y-H-W-H. And everyone said amen. All right. Uh, prayer team, prayer family. We'll see you in the morning at 6 a.m. Let me just make sure I didn't miss any comments. <laughs> My daughter is watching tonight. Hey, Chriselle. She said on Facebook, I'm going to read your comment out loud so it'll be on YouTube forever. She said, we might have to cut out some of them Lifetime movies. Yeah, because them Lifetime movies that you watch can be a, a little murderous sometimes. <laughs> uh, Pastor Ken, will you be listing all the scriptures discussed this evening? Would love to study them. Very good question. I'll Because Facebook, the, the message will always be on Facebook, I will take the time. Maggie, and put all of the scriptures in the same uh, uh, post. So you'll see them underneath this post here tonight. Or as I get through, I'm going to do a copy and paste. Sister Pittman, as always, thank you. Have a good evening. Everybody on TikTok, you guys have a good evening. Lord, thank you.